Today we're gonna pair strawberries, almonds, and shortbread to create a really cute tart that is perfect for using up all those summer berries that they're practically giving away in the markets right now. So to start this recipe, we are going to create a short crust. Start by adding some butter to a stand mixer fitted with a paddle attachment. Break the butter up a little bit. Once it's broken up, you can add in the powdered sugar. And we want to get this nice and fluffy, so we're creaming them together. Once it's fluffy, we add in two egg yolks. This is two egg yolks, one of those broke. And then once it's pulled together a little bit, you can actually stop the machine, scrape down the sides, just to make sure everything's nice and incorporated. Very important step here. Once that's done, you can add in your flour and just get that going until it's sort of broken up together about the size of peas. This is a very sandy type of a dough, so it's not going to pull together in the, in the bowl. You want to do it with your hands. So I got it pulled out on a board now, and I'm going to press it together and form it into a disc. All these little crumbs will sort of try and get away from you, but you want to make sure and get all that goodness in there. So scrape up all those little bits, add them together, and once you've got a disc formed, you can add it to some plastic wrap. I like to put the plastic wrap on the surface and then set the disc on top. That way it all gets nice and tight. And I sort of reshape it and make sure it's good and tight. All right, our dough is looking good. I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes so it can firm up and sort of relax a bit. Now for the almond cream. Let's add some almond paste and some sugar. We're also using the paddle attachment on the stand mixer. Mix that up until it's about the size of peas. Once that's pulled together, we're gonna add in some room temperature butter. And is it just me or does room temperature butter like to stick to the bowl? There we go. So get that nice and fluffy. And once your butter is fluffy with the other ingredients, we're gonna add in some almond extract and then two eggs. So these are full eggs. I like to add them one at a time or 1.5 at a time as I did right here because this guy was like on its way out. Perfect, get that all mixed in. Now we're gonna add in some all-purpose flour and then also some almond flour, which is a nice little touch here and makes this really, really delicious. Once that's all mixed together, you don't want to overmix, I'm going to add this to a pastry bag. You could also do it in like a zip top bag as well if you don't have a pastry bag. Uh, and then just go ahead and secure it and I'm just going to store it in the refrigerator until we fill our charts. Let's set up our tray to get these tarts together. I'm using the parchment baking sheets from If You Care. I love these because they don't have any chlorine or anything bad for you in them and they're just really great product and these are pre-cut, which is a lifesaver. Set the tart molds right on top of the parchment paper, and then we'll go ahead and prep them with a little bit of cooking spray to make sure that they don't stick. And then take a bit of the dough and just add it to the tart pan. And what I like to do is I just like to press it right in, no rolling necessary. You just press it really nice and thin at the bottom and then push it up the sides. And if you get like a little hole or something, you can always just patch it. Really, really easy dough to work with. And then I like to cut the top off a little bit just so it's nice and clean. I don't want it to be too thick. And then once you've got it going on, just check everything, make sure it's good, and move on to the next one. Gorgeous. Look at that. All right, now these are all prepped. I'm going to add in the filling. I just used the pastry bag to make it really easy to fill these guys. Fill them all up, and then go ahead and use an offset spatula to spread them around so they're nice and clean, because this is where all of our strawberries are going to go. So I just want to make sure it's a nice, clean surface pretty pretty easy here and then all of these are going to go into the oven together 350 for about 15 to 20 minutes while that's happening we're going to haul the strawberries I use my paring knife I pinch the top and then I just go ahead and put in a little bit of that blade and twist it really easy way to haul a strawberry do that to all of them and then I just thinly slice all the strawberries put them back into the bowl and then once I've got a nice little collection going, these beautiful tarts should be right out of the oven. And they are perfect. Now, I you can arrange them however you want. I sort of start by creating a little border around the edge, and then I fill in the center. And they come out like a nice little kind of flower. Oops, I forgot to take off the molds. Oh, this will be fun. And breathe, breathe, breathe. Oh, there we go. Okay, I took off the molds. So go ahead and continue just doing this pattern all around the edge, finishing the center, and they will all be pulled together. And then to finish all of these and make them look really pro, we're going to add a little glaze. And I just love a glaze. It makes everything look nice and shiny and real professional. 
All right, I'm just finishing adding this little glaze to the top. All this is is equal parts apricot jam and some water. And then I just boiled it until it got thick and I'm brushing it on. Yay! You guys, look at these gorgeous tarts! I'm so excited to have these for dinner. I'm having a couple friends over tonight and I think that they are definitely gonna be on the Instagram because people are gonna definitely wanna take lots of pictures of this. Please let me know what you think of these tarts in the comments section and if you make them, please hashtag Theodore Leaf so I can find you guys and be the little lovers. <laughs>